Hey guys, John here. Welcome to how to learn 3x OSC or three times OSC. I really don't know the the professional way or the actual right way to say this thing, but regardless, I'm going to teach it to you if you don't know how to use it. So first things first, before we even dive into the oscillators, a couple things to keep in mind is that normally when you save presets for other synths and whatnot, you'd go up to the default or save the presets here and whatnot and recall them here. But the difference with this one is that this also uses the integrated sampler. So if we go into here, we're going to use our envelopes in this page and that's part of the sampler so it becomes a little confusing so you'd actually want to save this as a channel state by clicking this arrow down here and saving the channel state that way you're actually going to be saving all of the uh, envelopes and modulation that you do in this section so it's very important something to keep in mind because that's going to be a big foundation of your sound the next important thing about this synth in general is for example let's if we pick a saw wave so it brings down just a little bit it's kind of loud so we can hear the aliasing going on now, if we click the HQ, that's going to go away. Now, we can even see it up here in the spectrum view. All that schmutz right there in the center there. HQ, and it's a lot cleaner now. So, very important button. I would generally recommend to keep that on. So, those first things are out of the way. So, let's go to default and default. And let's kind of talk about this synth in a little bit here. So, three OS... 3x OSC, three oscillators, so one, two, and three, you have a few choices. So you have your sine, as we can see here, just a standard sine wave. And then we have the square right there. We have a rounded square, which is slightly a little bit different. And then we have this audio kind of symbol here. I'll get to that in a, in a second here. And then we have a triangle. And then we have our typical saw wave. And then we have some noise. So the difference with this, uh, audio wave here is just basically going to use a noise sample which is going to be located in the sampler section here so i have preloaded a uh, a snare here which uh, let's turn on this so what you're actually hearing is this snare sample and i can drag other ones like a 909 rim or something in here and use that as the uh, as the oscillator source so something to also keep in mind it's kind of kind of a cool option and then so these are basically the waveforms and then here is going to be to, to the invert the shape So you can kind of see how it flips the uh, polarity there. And then we have the phase offset. So it's basically just changing the phase of the oscillator, which if it's just one, it doesn't really matter specifically. But if you have multiple ones, you might have some phase cancellation going on. So that might be kind of useful to move. And then you have a detune knob for that oscillator. So you got what, 50 cents up and 50 cents down. So for example, so it definitely helps to, uh, Give your sound a little character. And then we have the coarse tuning for the first oscillator, which is going to go up all the way up. So 48 up here, and then it's actually 24 total. So down zero. So the 48 is basically like the entire range. And then going up from the middle to the uh, top here is going to be 24 because default is going to be at 24. The second oscillator is going to be 12 and the third one's going to be a, at a zero. So it's kind of saying like here's like the lower kind of mid and then a, kind of a higher pitched here. And then next up here, we have the fine pitch up 100 cents and then down 100 cents and then here is going to be the panning so all the way to the left and then you might notice that why do these two knobs have uh or why do, do these two oscillators have knobs but this one doesn't now this is going to be the main volume for the oscillator two and oscillator three the first one doesn't necessarily have a volume it's kind of just the main volume so you're gonna to have to mix these to ear as the manual likes to say a lot so that's basically that in a nutshell with all of these uh oscillators they're pretty much the exact same except the first one like i said does not have a volume knob so something also to keep in mind and then moving on this uh this phase random is going to just randomize your phase for different kinds of things so let's turn on some saw waves to kind of hear that so it definitely has an effect A little higher here. And then the last couple of things, if we go to default one more time, and let's turn these ones down here. We also have an AM oscillator three. So oscillator three is going to be the amplitude modulation source for one and two. So if we turn this on here, and then we increase this volume here.
we can kind of tell that this, this oscillator here is amplitude modulating the first oscillator here. And if we change the tune, you can get kind of some cool uh, timbres out of that. Kind of organ sounding. And generally, it's kind of nicer to keep these in octave ranges because it sounds more in tune. Because as soon as we stray away from it, it kind of sounds dissonant, unless that's what you're going for, but something to keep in mind. So generally, a very simplistic synth, I wouldn't necessarily say that simple means bad. It just really just, it's simple. It's easy to get an idea across. There isn't necessarily unison on this, which kind of does suck, but... You can kind of use it for maybe more basses, plucks, kind of things like that that don't really need that much unison. And it's very easy to control everything straightforward on, on this is on one page. And then on the next video, we're going to dive into the articulation and the envelopes and all that. But yes, it's, it's a cool synth, but make sure to kind of have your HQ on because it really makes a huge difference in the grand scheme of things as we saw. Let's turn these down again. If, you hear, if you're wearing headphones or you can hear this pretty well, it's pretty obvious. That's just much cleaner. So thank you for watching this first video, and we'll see you in the next one, probably the last one.